What's up, everybody? It's Magic here with RaceNews.com here with another episode of the weekly show. Dr. Miranda previews with me, as always, is Dr. Miranda. How are you today? I'm good. I have a sweatshirt on. It's like 60 degrees in Kentucky, so it's pretty cold for here. So, But I'm ready to go up north for this uh, Breeders' Cup. <laughs> yeah, well, you're going to need that sweatshirt. We're going up to Woodbine uh, for Sunday. They have two Breeders' Cup winning your in races. One is the Natalma Stakes, which is a winning your in for the Juvenile Phillies Turf. We're going to take a look at the Summer Stakes, which is a Breeders' Cup winning your in for the Juvenile Turf. Field of seven juvenile males, and this is the two-year-olds. This is a new thing for us to cover on this show. So <laughs> I'm real curious to hear how you're going to handicap this race. Lots of great horses here. There's only seven of them, but I think you can make a case for just about any of them in this race. Yep. So I just want to start off. Yeah, this is a great field. Most of these horses have kind of raced each other, except there's like one outlier um, from Gulfstream. But I'm going to kind of take you guys back in time, and then we're going to go to who the picks are. So in July at Woodbine, you had Ready to Repeat beating Gretzky the Great. And then a month later, you had Ready the, to Repeat beating Download. And then August 23rd at Woodbine, you had four of these boys all racing at Woodbine. You had Gretzky the Great getting revenge on Ready to Repeat and Download beating Dolder Grand. So I want to focus on these four boys and make sense of this and then go on to the three horses that are the outliers who haven't ran at Woodbine yet. So out of Ready to Repeat and Gretzky the Great, I think honestly Gretzky the Great is more bred for this race. Out of Nyquist, who's a stakes router, will likely be like to be stretched out more than ready to repeat. I think ready to repeat is more into the sprinting kind of thing. And between download and Dolder Grand, I love Dolder Grand here in the spot. I think he was a bit green on his first start. He got bummed. He went three to five wide, and he's an eight hundred thousand dollar purchase out of Candy Ride. I think he's gonna run huge. Um, download, I just don't really like him here, and he also lost his jockey to American Monarch, who's also in this race. Um, so that brings me to American Monarch and Secret Potion, who went head to head at Saratoga last month, the same day of Traverse. Uh, American Monarch's obviously out of American Pharaoh, who's been dominant on the turf with all these offsprings. He won down the stretch to Secret Potion, who actually was a pretty slow fraction starting out. Um, Secret Potion is trained by Chad Brown. I know this is his second time out. They're adding the Lasix. There's all these percentages on why he should win. Uh, and also in the race, the horse that got third place actually went on and got second place at the Juvenile Stakes at Kentucky Downs 10 days ago. So I'm about to make a bold prediction though. <laughs> I'm <see>, ready. <laughs> I don't see American Monarch or Secret Potion actually getting top two at all. Uh, you guys can call me crazy. I'm sure there's some people chirping me on Twitter, but I don't think that these two favorites are going to finish the top two. Um, I'm going to talk about the horse that's an outlier before I go on with these bold predictions I have. Uh, the other horse is Heat of the Night, who just won at Gulfstream Park like two weeks ago. But I think with the travel and the short layoff, this just isn't his race. I'm very confused what he's doing here. Uh, but on to the fun stuff. Uh, I think this race is actually going to be a Mark Cassie uh, barn duel. Um, I'm going to go with the Mark Cassie Exacta. I like Dolder Grand on top, especially since Mark said that he's comparing him to War of Will. Just like War of Will, he didn't think he was going to get beat his first time out, and he did. He actually got third, lost by five lengths. And by Mark Cassie saying that, I think that's going to be huge for Dolder Grand. I think he's going to come out on top, but I think that Gretzky the Great is going to come in second, but he's actually going to set the pace, and I think Dolder Grand is going to close and win the race, hopefully. Uh, but I am going to use American Monarch and Secret Potion Exactas and the Trifectas and Superfectas just to put them in there so people don't get mad. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about that because with Woodbine, it's a little different. If you're not used to playing, a lot of their, their base wagers are 20 cents, which is uh, mm -hmm. a reason Mike and I talk about the Magic Mike Show about why Woodbine is a great track if you're just starting out and you want to mm -hmm. learn and you want to dip your toe. Maybe try doing pick threes or try super effectives. Mm -hmm. It's a very inexpensive way to try at Woodbine as opposed to anywhere else. So um, we'll, we'll just consider the base still for what you're doing here, but go ahead and talk about what you're going to do with your uh, exotic place here. So I'm going to put Dolder Grand, Gretzky the Great, American Monarch, and Secret Potion in trifecta and super effective boxes. But then I'm going to play Dolder Grand and Gretzky the Great in exacta. Um, I'm going to do a $5 box. It'll be $10. So hopefully, I mean, Dolder Grand right now is like eight to one. So hopefully he stays like that and we can get some prices across. 
Yeah, well, he's eight to one. He also cost eight hundred thousand dollars <laughs> out of a hundred thousand uh, dollars stallion fee for candy rides. So that you're getting eight to one there and eight to one return if you were the breeder on this horse. Uh, it, 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 so you're not worried at all about the uh, uh, the two Saratoga horses at least coming up to take a win. You're you're pretty confident that this is going to be Mark Cassie's race to lose. I really do. Like I watched back that race with American Monarch, and I mean they did good. I mean, it was kind of slow fractions, and I just don't think that, I mean, this is their first time at Woodbine. I get their two-year-olds are young, and I love American Pharaoh. I wanted American Monarch to win, but I just don't, I don't see this for both, either of them. And I know everybody's going to be betting Chad Brown because he's Chad Brown. Uh, but no, I think there's going to be a Mark Cassie exacta. Well, Mark Cassie's won this race three times. He's also won the Natal Mistakes later on the card seven times. So he's got plenty of chances in both of those. Good luck if you're playing. Dr. Miranda, let people know where they can find you on Twitter for all of your picks and insight. At Miranda Bungie. Perfect. We will see you all next time. Good luck this weekend.